As our Pointer men's basketball team getting set to uh, try to take down a conference team for the second time in this season. They uh, managed to get John the split with River by winning on Saturday. So now having beaten Stout the first time around, you have to try to make sure they don't try to, to even the score with you. Well, I tell you, and there, as Coach said in the, in the interview, they're a really good team. They can score the basketball. They can really put the ball in the hoop. And uh, they're big, they're, they're, they're athletic. And of course, uh, we've mentioned Brody Fox a number of times. He's as good as there is in Division Three. Yeah, yeah, he's a good one. And he will, I'm sure, be a problem here tonight for the Stout Blue Devils. It'll be 6'6 junior Brody Fox out of uh, Metamedi, Minnesota, 6'1 freshman Colin Vick from Owatonna, Minnesota, 6'5 senior George Charlo from Colfax, 6'5 junior Jacob Walchek from Chippewa Falls, and 6'10 junior Aiden Shore from Sterling, Illinois. And the uh, Blue Devils coached by Jim Lake. For our pointers tonight, it is going to be 6'5", junior Malik Abdul-Wahid out of Brookfield Central. 6'5", freshman Seth Myron from Appleton and Kimberly High School. You have 6'8", freshman Cal Crone from Waukesha West. 6'1", junior Darius Bolden from Glendale Nicolay. And 6'2", freshman Josiah Butler from Appleton Fox Valley Lutheran High School. So let's see, can the pointers get the job done. We know it won't be easy, but hey, we'll take our chances and a pretty decent crowd in here tonight, John. Yep, a really nice crowd and winning will do that there. We've had some great games wherever we've gone. I tell you what, we've been treated to great basketball. If uh, you don't like paying the high prices that you're getting every place else, place else, if there's a better ticket in sports than Division Three basketball, you'd have to tell me what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. It'll be Shore at 6'10 to jump center against 6'8 Cal Crone. And the tip is gonna go to the pointers as Darius Bolden comes down with it. Into the right corner to Malik Abdul-Wahid. Kicks it out to Butler off the screen that time. Didn't get the pick and roll that was available to Cal. Seth Myron into the lane. Bounces to the right corner. Malik right back to Seth on the right block trying to back his way in. Goes, nice spin move, blocked away by Shore. And uh, releasing Butler, could have come back to get that one. Fox down at the other end, has it blocked away by Malik, picked up by Crone. Well, blocked shots on both ends. Boy, we missed a wide open Cal Crone in yep. that first possession. Darius down deep, gets it off. Crone, short jumper, and the pointers lead it. Well, they found him that time. Yep. Well, he had 24 the first time. He's off to a, a decent start. Shore, uh, Charlo with it, over to Fox, in along the left side of the lane. Shore with the jumper, and he knocks that one down over Cal. Well, both bigs hit early jump shots, and they are both left-handers. Into the front court comes Darius Bolden. You don't see that all that often, now do you? Nope. Down on the baseline, Malik goes up yeah. and scores it. Good patience there as he gathered himself to rise above the defense. Quickly down, it'll go to the right corner. With the dribble there is Walchek back to Fox. Malik trying to guard him. Kick out three balls, going to come up short. Rebound, it'll go to Stout. Back out on the left wing, Vic to Fox into the lane. Kick out again, Vic wants it. That rims off, and Malik flies in for the rebound off to Josiah Butler. Four two pointers. Butler left side to the top of the circle. Looks and goes back to Malik on the left baseline. Trying to work his way back toward the lane. Bumps, turnaround jumper off the rim. No, and the rebound into the hands of Walchek. Walchek on ahead, quickly down. It'll come Charlo back out on top to Brody Fox. Fox into the left corner. Pointers waiting on the double team. Might drop it in here. Turn around by Fox. Blocked again by Malik, but picked up underneath by Vic. Kick out open three and buried. Oh, he got a block and nobody went yep. and got the basketball. Yep. And uh, you know, in that scramble, there's usually a guy standing free at the three-point line. 
So Stevens Point down one. Darius Bolden down to the left baseline, backs his way in, double clutches, fade away, and he got oh, it. Oh man, he had to really fade away to get that ball high arcing over a much taller defender, Charlo. 6-5 score, right side it'll go there, Charlo up on top to store, uh, shore that is, pardon me. He'll get it back on a little pick and roll, got in deep, yeah. and we're gonna get a foul. I think on Myron. It's my One thing we've got to somehow get yep. Seth, he he does a little reaching. Yep. He's always there trying to help, but yep. we've gotten him in foul trouble a yeah. little too much. Good pick and roll that time by the Blue Devils, and help was needed. Aiden Shore makes good on the free throw. That'll tie the game up. Thought he might have traveled, but it was clearly after the foul. So he'll get the second, trying to un- tie the basketball game and he does a nice touch yep long guy 6'10 7 6 stout Josiah Butler to bring it up for Stevens Point right down the middle of the floor starts it toward the right wing holds his dribble comes back left outside the arc gives it up to Crone right back to Josiah into the lane picks it up over to the right baseline Malik Trying to go inside, ball popped free, loose on the floor. Malik picks it back up. It'll go to Butler. He'll launch the jumper off the rim, no, and the rebound inside to Shore. 7-6 Blue Devils, and a chance to add to the lead inside. Tipped away by Bolden from behind, picked up by Malik. Devils like to run, good job of getting back by the pointers. Darius down, right side into the lane. Nice pass underneath, Cal Crone up and score. What a beautiful assist. To the defense, and right on the money to the right hand. Brody Fox with it here. Working down the lane, goes up, blocked again by Malik. That's three times already, John. Yep, when that one went out of bounds, but it went off the leg of short. Tell you what, Malik is long. He saw that against River Falls, his ability to extend above shooters. Well, eight, seven pointers, 16.04 to go in the opening half, mind you. Your final score, Sports Bar and Grill scoreboard showing Stevens Point with the one point lead. Plan your before or after game get togethers. Final score, second to Maria Stevens Point. Right side, it'll go to Cal Crone. Cal into the lane, down the lane, puts it up, no, and, and a foul on Shore. Well, I took that ball about the free throw line and attacked Shore. That was a good take. Gonna go to the line and get two. You'd like to get a couple more on the big guy and get him out of there, right? Yeah, for sure. We're gonna get the first media timeout. 15.50 to go in the opening half. Stevens Point eight and Stout seven. We'll be back in one minute. UW Stevens Point men's basketball, WPCN. Fifteen fifty to go, opening half. Stevens Point up 8-7. Cal Crone will go to the line for two. Boy, he hit some big free throws down the stretch in that nail biter at River Falls. Matter of fact, he famously said when Coach was gonna call a timeout, don't worry, I got this. And by golly, I got this, he coach. did. He's only a 61% free throw shooter. Well, it's improving. Yes. It's coming up. First one on the way, left it short. See, uh, that'll teach had me. to talk about yeah, it again, John. Me. You've got to learn. <laughs> we, we both know we have nothing to do with it, but isn't that, uh, generally speaking, what happens? Yeah. Second one is good for Cal. Right, and of course, Cal 
a volleyball player that's decided to come back to the game of basketball. He's really improved quickly in his first year back. Agreed. Fox out on the left wing. Ryan Genrick in for Stevens Point. It'll come over to the right side, Vic. Vic against Butler to the free throw line. Drop down on the baseline, backing in against Crone. They drop a second defender in. Pass over to the left baseline, and oh, yeah. we're going to get a reaching foul on Ryan Genrick. <laughs> foul number two. First one on Ryan. Brendan Weiss. <laughs> the guy that was fouled in will come Caden Hoffman for Stout, as well as Carson Leitzinger. Yep, a lot of early subs by both teams here. Logan Bumgartner is going to come in for point. Keep in mind, Logan did not play that first game. Right. That's when he was out with his injury. 9-7 pointers lead. Stout inbounds under its own basket to the left corner. It'll go there to Hoffman. Back out on top. This is Weiss, right side and back. Two steps outside the arc. Fox leaves it off here for Nick Jungle. Pull up by Fox, and that rims off. Rebound Ryan Genrick. 9-7, Genrick front court. Looks left, gives left. Bumgartner, no shot available. Malik on the baseline. Malik will slide baseline, got inside, goes up and scores it. Yeah, it beat him. might be too much for yeah, Weiss. He beat Weiss on the baseline. Quickly, Fox at the other end, pointers lead by four. Weiss, uh, pardon me, Fox to the free throw line. Running baseline that time. Uh, Hoffman got cut off, back to Fox. Off the jungle screen. Picked up his dribble, back to jungle at the free throw line. In deep against Malik, got him in the air. Ball poked away, picked up by Myron. Myron into the front court, running right side underneath the Genrick, kicked it out. Bumgartner fakes the three, now steps up three on the way. He buried it. Well, there you see the modern day fast break. You run to the corners. Stevens Point, an early seven point lead. Quickly up, it'll come with Weiss. Deep three on the way, in and out, no tip. Nice rebound by Myron. Oh, good job by Seth. Into yep. the front court, it'll come. Over to Josiah Butler, hands it off to Genrick. Across the way, it'll come to Malik. Malik down to the baseline. Holding, kick out, open, Bumgartner, three, no. And the rebound tip into the hands of Myron. Up underneath, he'll score! Well, somebody got a deflection on that rebound. It went right to Myron's hands. 16-7 points. Good beginning by the pointers. Yeah, Leitzinger to the front court. Works against Josiah Butler off the high screen. Good show that time by Bumgartner. Back on the right wing. Oh, go. We're going to get an offensive foul call. Yep, on Light Leisinger. Leitzinger. Now, Brody Fox, Scotty, not a real threat from behind the three-point line. We have been giving him some room. They're just a 25% shooter from out there. He usually does his damage more inside. Such a great driver of the basketball. And you notice early, we've been really quick to help on him. Blake Courts into the game for Stevens Point. Pointers up by nine at the early going. Butler into the front court. Bumgartner on the high left. Logan spins, long cross court. And we got the same illegal down here. That's going to be on Josiah Butler. Huh. Stepped in on a screen. Right, Butler's Joe. first. Three team fouls. Third on the pointers, yep. yep. Two, on the, two on the Blue Devils. So, Leitzinger brings it up, gives it up on top here. Charlo back into the hands of Hoffman. Hoffman, Leitzinger, right side dribble. Genrick right there. Into the free throw line. Then to kick it out on the wing. Hoffman got rid of it to Charlo. Long pass into the right corner. Running baseline, kick out, Leitzinger. Shot clock six. Takes it, fade away 15 footer, missed it, out of bounds, pointer ball. Yeah, he had to shoot that, shot clock was running out on him. It was down to four when he released it. Well, good defense, good 30 seconds worth of moving your feet. Yeah, 16-7, Stevens point. Butler to bring it up here for the pointers, heading left, gives it to Quartz. Blake across the way, it'll go there to Seth Myron. Genrick on the baseline, back out to Seth. Runs it into the lane, jump stop, bounces down low to Quartz. Quartz on the block, gives it back to Myron, eight on the clock now. Across the way, Butler between the legs, into the lane, down the lane, off the glass, no. Rebound, Blake Quartz, then he lost it, picked up here. Nice spin by Leitzinger, into the front court, down the lane, oh. blocked away, foul call. Yep, they're going to get two on this. It's going to be on Bumgartner. 
Going to send Leitzinger to the, to the foul line for two. That'll be the first on Logan. And Malik and Darius uh, will come back in. Abdul Wahid Bolden. And uh, Carson Leitzinger at the line. He averages 1.5 points per game. Yep, 72% from the line, 8 of 11 coming into to tonight's ball game. First one good, 16-8. The Monroe, way down on yeah. the Illinois border. You don't get any back, closer than that. Back where you used to live, kind uh, of. I was in New Glarus for a while, just down the road from me. 16-9, Stevens Point with the lead. Darius Bolden, working oh, dribble, lost yes. it, and they're gonna say off of I, Darius's I, hands. I agree with the call. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Showed a little bit too much, got a little loose with it, yep. quite frankly. We've had some of those Hate sort those of, kind of turnovers. You have those sloppy, unforced turnovers. Just be solid with the basketball. Left side, it'll go. Down on the left block. Aiden Shore against Bumgartner. Kicks it around from the right corner. Back out, Leitzinger. Leitzinger will go left there to Hoffman. Down on the baseline, pull up jumper and Not knock it down for Charlo. And your nine point lead is five. Yep, kid out of Colfax. You know where that is, Scotty? Somewhere over there. Yeah, not far away. Genrick. From a nominee, that is. Yeah. Courts to the free throw circle, off to Malik, into the lane, down the lane, jump stop, fade away, short. left it way short. I don't know. Might have been yeah, partially blocked. I wonder if Charlo got a piece of that or not. I'm not sure he didn't get a piece of the hand, but Leitzinger with it, bounces it down to shore on the baseline. Going against Logan Bumgartner, turnaround jump wow. hook, and he'll score that one from out there. He's got six. That's impressive by a big guy. Well, that's a little six-point run now yep. for Stout. Darius Bolden into the front court. You've kind of bogged down a little bit offensively. Right. Bumgartner in the right corner. Need a good inside shot or a wide open look. There's Quartz. Nope. It's on the way and offline. Rebound will go to the Blue Devils. Quickly up, it'll come Leitzinger underneath Shore, and he missed the dunk. And then the rebound to Genrick. Well, there's a break. No, oh, I'd say. Here comes Darius Bolden back for Stevens Point. Right wing into the lane, down the lane. Darius and kicks it, it out. Yeah, he got caught in the yeah, midair again. Sometimes he leaves his feet, and then you're in trouble. Up it'll come. Hoffman with it in hand, high left corner against Genrick. Skips it out on top now to Charlo, Leitzinger. Hoffman outside the arc, Leitzinger to the baseline. Got cut off, back into the corner, three on the way, off the rim, no, tipped by Shore. This is gonna be saved by Stout, good effort. Into the right corner again, off the mark this time, and the rebound, Genrick. Well, I thought we were gonna, I think we're gonna, get, a, we're gonna get a timeout here, Scotty. Yep, Point wants to talk about it. They kinda got out of whack here. Yep. 10.03 to go in the half. Stevens Point 16, Stout 13. This is a... Point up 16-13 on your final score, Sports Bar and Grill scoreboard. Pointer's favorite Sports Bar and Grill is the final score, Sports Bar and Grill, second to Maria Stevens Point. Amazing food and drinks. Point inbound off the left sideline. That comes on the floor to Butler. Got to get Josiah going here a little bit. Bounce down the lane, Genrick, left hand layup good. Yeah, good curl cut off of a wing uh, screen, easy two. Front court, Vic back in there, hands it off. Out on the right side, wall check, bad pass, stolen away, Malik to the other end, gathers himself, goes up, he'll score it. Yep. Got that one left handed. Yep, that's another turnover that hurt the Blue Devils. Down to the baseline, shot won't go, Courts with a rebound. Well, no call on yeah, that they, contact one way or the other. They knocked Malik right to the floor on that one, Genrick. Left side, Butler. 
Josiah to the free throw lane, double team comes, kicks it out, jumper on the way, that's not gonna go, rebounded inside, forced out by Weiss. Now that wasn't a, well it wasn't a pretty looking shot, let's put it that way. Jungle at the top of the circle. Over to the right side, Weiss with it. Oh, good oh, pass. Oh, they found Jungle all alone underneath. Yeah, that was a nice pass by Weiss. Junior out of Janesville, Parker. Skyward Incorporated connecting parents and education pointers up five at 20 to 15. My Beloit Memorial wife wouldn't like him. Oh, well. <laughs> the rivalry between those two cities. Butler, top of the circle, right side down the lane, got in deep, double team, blocked, yeah. and Jungle comes up yeah, with it. Yeah, just too much tall timber there. Yeah, Vic, Vic up the left wing into the corner. Trying to work there is Fox. Malik has him pinned oh, down. Play. Fox nope. got inside, tip, no, and the rebound by Cal Crone. Well, they've missed a couple close in. Yeah. Particularly Brody Fox. I don't think he scored yet, Scott. He is we're, not. At, we're at 8 16. Josiah Butler goes left. Oh, now he's got jungle on him, and he takes advantage right down the lane and scores. Well, it. was able to get through his seam that time, and the help was late in coming. Yep. Rock and Roll Cafe, second, pardon me, Stanley and Minnesota in Stevens Point. They are open seven to three every single day. Down deep. Here's Fox into the lane. He'll throw it up. No, tipped out on the wing by Malik, picked up by Genrick. A lot of contact again. May have been offensive, but no whistle. Genrick down to the right baseline. Gives it back out on top here to Cal Crone. Daddy, we Seven point have, lead. We might have had numbers there and didn't know it. Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't rush the, 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 the basket. Coach yelling out something. Nine seconds to go. Butler with it up on top. Pulls up for the three and got it. Uh, low oh, that's hands. a good play, Coach Call. Yep. Yep. He's laughing yep. coming yep. back. And he he wanted something different, but it was a perfect uh, play. No, call. no, no, no. Good shot. Yep, right? There you go. Weiss on the wing. Gets it into the hands of Walchek. Skips it over now to Brody Fox. Up on the top of the circle. Tried to go back to Fox. Bad pass intercepted. Here comes Quartz into the front court. Back to Butler. Over to Quartz for three. That's off the mark. No. Rebound Ryan Genrick. Kick out to Cal. It'll go to the top of the circle, Butler, and reset the offense here. Butler working on the dribble. Trying to see around Coach, to be honest with you. Butler on the dribble, top of the circle, into the lane, down the lane, goes up, he'll score it! Went right in contact. Yeah, right into the hands of the defender, and took the hit, got the two. Stout will take the timeout, the pointers with a 12-point lead at 27-15. Let's take that 30. We're coming right back. Pointers basketball, WPCN. Thirty-six to go in the opening half. Stevens point twenty-seven. Stout fifteen. John Scotty. The pointers came out of the 10-0-3 timeout and have outscored the Blue Devils eleven-two in that uh, period of time. So a good run by the pointers. Let's see if we can come out of the timeout and get a stop. Leitzinger into the front court for the Blue Devils, working against Josiah Butler. Gives it up on top now to Charlo. Left side to Fox. Down low on the baseline. Shore got in. Oh, no. And of all guys, yeah, Seth. it's Seth Myron who's, again. Who's always there for that, that little reach foul. Short Adam just kind of yeah. spun into him. Yeah. And now we've got a media timeout, but that we're we going to stay right here. 6.21 yeah. to go. That's going to put Seth on the bench for the last 6.21. Yeah, probably so. And it's, you know, Seth is where he's supposed to be. And then he's the guy that are, is getting the, the fouls called. That's technically not his man to guard. No, and, and you know, and and the big guy, Shore, spun into him yep. and yep. showed him ball, quite frankly. Uh, I don't know if Shore even knew that, that Seth was coming over and help. And so it's hard to, to not want to reach in. And if, if he just, you know, goes vertical there, doesn't get the foul, I don't know. Shore maybe elevates above him and gets that little 
six foot in front of the rim half hook shot anyhow. But uh, that's a case where I think most anybody would have reached at that ball because he sure showed him a lot of basketball and he tried to reach in and, and, and bat it out of there. And, and got to so sometimes you're just in the right place at the wrong time or you're in the wrong place at the right time. I'm, one of those, whichever one it is. Whatever that are. is, that's where he was. Yeah. Where, wherever you go, there you are, yeah. as a friend of mine used to say. Porter women over in Menominee tonight. The rest of the men's schedule, Eau Claire at Platteville, Whitewater at Oshkosh, River at Lacrosse. the battle of the two teams tied for that second. That should be a great game. Yeah, should be. Lacrosse very talented, and River Falls is talented. Leitzinger will inbound four stout under their own basket. And he does to the corner. Out on top, it'll come here to Charlo. Charlo bounces right side, Leitzinger. Boy, he didn't even really look at it. He had an open look. Out to uh, Brody Fox on the wing. Guarded now by Miles Coleman. Takes him into the lane, pull up jumper, oh. and Miles gonna get a foul. Yeah, Bro uh, Brody's gonna go to the line to get two. He's saying he got him on the elbow. So, if you're struggling to get some baskets, <laughs> yeah. we, we've been pretty physical, quite frankly, with Brody Fox early on. He might, he's, he's kept his poise. He might think he's been hit a couple times. You uh, got the stop and then you reached. If yeah. you didn't reach, well, he may have scored, but this gets him a chance to get going, yeah, John, get yep. that feel again. Yeah, got to the foul line, which is always a good thing to get yourself going. Yeah. Made the first, 27-16, and rolled the second one off the rim, rebound to Crone. All right, Stevens Point. Butler into the front court. Off on the right wing, it'll go to Bolden. Darius gets by his man to the free throw line. He's gonna take the shot. Off the rim, no. Cal Crone with the long rebound. Gives it to Coleman on the left baseline. Miles into the lane, fadeaway jumper. Off the rim, no. Looked good, didn't get it to go. And the rebound to Shore. Outlet will come quickly. Leitzinger over to the right wing. Pull up for the three. Off the rim, no. Rebound over the backside. Brody Fox yeah, scores. Made himself a rebounder on that long three. That's three straight for Fox. 27-18, Stevens Point up by nine now. Bolden bounces down to the right baseline. Ryan Genrick gives it out to Butler. Josiah on the wing. Works on that dribble down to the baseline, sneaking through. Over to Genrick, a three, got it! Ryan Genrick. Tell you what, Ryan is so improved for, from his three-point shooting. Yeah. He's up to 47%, Scotty, oh. and there's another quick foul on Miles. And, and Boy, we've had way worse contact, yeah. and the poor Miles gets called for that. <laughs> so inconsistent. Is that team foul six seven, or seven? I They're believe. showing six, but I thought it was seven. They haven't put the seven up there yet. I'm that pretty a, sure it's seven. That would be a bonus. He was not shooting. There's the seven on the board. So he could have five straights here suddenly. We're yep. talking about Brody Fox. Average is 27.8 a game. First one good. Five straight for Stout, that is. And Paper and, City uh, Savings, proud supporter of our community. Locations, Plover, Wisconsin Rapids, and Nakusa. Second on the way is good as well. So here comes Brody Fox. Not that you thought you were going to shut no, him out. 30 no, to 20. No, he, he can explode on you at any moment. Darius Bolden into the front court with the dribble. Lightsinger on him. Darius inside the arc, free throw line, kick out, Genrick down to the baseline, pull up jumper, got it! Well, off the dribble. Ryan Genrick with seven, pointers up a dozen. Get a stop, Leitzinger, front court, Charlo, all the way to the baseline, poked away by Ryan, picked back up, Shore wants a triple off the rim, rebound Cal Crone. Well, I'd rather have Shore out there yep. than under the basket. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that, although it looked pretty good. It did, it was right on line. Bolden kicks it out on the wing, Blake Courts, who has earned his minutes. Over to the right side, Abdul Wahid. Malik Smooth on the baseline, got caught inside. He had nowhere to go on ahead, it'll come. Down the lane, Brody Fox, and he makes the layup. Yep, Ryan let him go instead of giving him the and one. Yep. Well, 32-22. You turn the ball over and give him open floor opportunity. Go, yeah, that's the Turnovers just really hurt. Iowa. Bolden goes left. Malik off the left wing with the dribble. Looks and finds help from Blake Quartz behind the back with the dribble to the free throw circle. Picks up, gives it to Bolden in a crowd. Darius manages to hang on to it. Now you get out to get some help. 
Bounces down on the baseline to Quartz, running out of time. Fade away jumper off the rim, no. Backside rebound, sure. Quickly it'll come up. Leitzinger into the front court. Along the right side, bad pass stolen away by Ryan Genrick. Ryan went 94 feet baseline to baseline to get that interception. Genrick to Crone, off it'll go to Bolden, got by his man down to the baseline. Shovels it to the corner, Genrick three, got him again! Ryan Genrick with 10, and the pointer's up 35-22. Left side, Brody Fox. High post with it is Shore against Crone. Backs him down, can't hit it. Ball tipped oh, out no, of bounds. No, I don't oh, like, sure got that over the top of I'm Ryan. I'm quite sure he did. Yep, over Ryan. Now, Ryan was closer to the baseline, yes. but the ball was tipped out of yeah. his hands. Yeah. I thought from behind, Yep. but yeah. uh, nobody seems to be too upset but you and me. So <laughs> we'll, we'll go with the proper call. They're just being nice. You and I aren't quite as nice. Inbound, it'll go to the left corner. Or I've heard that anyway, Charlo. Pinned down by Genrick to Shore. Ball tipped away, but Charlo got it back. Fox on the wing, lobs it Beautiful. to Shore, who had Genrick on him in the post, and that was pretty easy. I tell you what, Fox made that play. What a beautiful lob feed. 35-24. Stevens Point leads. Butler, right side Bumgartner, 2.36 to go. Logan into the lane, bad pass, but Quartz comes up with it. Blake into the left corner. Genrick three more, nope, not Fair this ball. time. Yeah, that one. And the rebound, Walchek. Somebody flew out at him just at yep. the right time. Vic, right side, down to the baseline, off of the foot that time of yeah. Walchek. Stevens Point basketball. Well, 2.20 to go here, you're up 11. See if you can close this out, get in, get up by you know 11 or 12, 15 yeah. would be nice, but hold that lead. I agree, Jake Buchanan's gonna come in right now for Blake Quartz here. Now, Blake's been valuable with his length, oh, for sure. Scotty. He, he gets to a lot of balls and gets a lot of tips on, on rebounding situations. Needs to improve his shooting, that although I think he was probably a pretty good shooter in high school. So. Well, and he had Van Kelster shooting in front of him. Yeah, that's true. Buchanan down to the right corner, it'll go to Malik. Smooth with it there, holding against Weiss off to Butler the now, pinned down on the sideline yeah, again. Stuck Butler pull up jumper, that's short, and the rebound stout. That was just, that just no, never a nothing good set. happening. No, that was just never a good set. Vic, Weiss, inside the arc, bounces it to Shore at the uh, uh, arc. Off to Brody Fox, right side, cut off by Malik, trying to back his way in there. Gets into the lane, kicks it out, open three, not gonna go, tipped by Shore into the hands of Malik. He'll bring it into the front court. Weiss on the defense. Out on top, it'll go there, Genrick. Around to the right wing, drop it in on the baseline to Butler. Josiah backs it outside the three-point circle, gives it off there to Malik. 15 on the shot clock, a minute 18 to go. Butler into the lane, down the lane, off the glass and scores it. Took a hit, got the score. He's got nine. Stevens Point up by 13 again. Kick out. Ar a Vic. Oh. oh, that looked like a good steal. They're going to call Buchanan. Yeah. Huh. And that'll be a bonus still. That did not look like much. No. That's just going to be a one and one. Who's going to go and shoot that? And the Blue Devils, two team fouls. Yeah. You still always have to go, huh? Colin. Colin Vick at the line, 41% shooter. Front end one and one, got the first. Got that one. His first point of the game. Averages 3.9, 37.25. Charlo will come back, and Shore will get a rest probably for the last 104, huh? They don't want to get him with a second foul, no, maybe? No, you don't. So the second one on the way for Vick. That one misses. Smooth up for the rebound off to Buchanan. Jake to the front court, takes it to the left wing. Drops it in on the baseline to Malik. Working there against Weiss, kick out to Bumgartner. Off it'll go to Butler, into the lane, down the lane, wow. and it is blocked away, but a foul finally well, gonna get you know, called. He's been hit on every drive. And they do allow, you know, they do allow a lot of hits on, on takes to the basket at all levels. That's just college basketball today. I, I, for the life of me, I'm never sure quite what is a foul and what is not a foul when you get within 10 feet of a basket. Yeah, I, I, I agree on, with on you on an, that. On an attack, but it doesn't matter if you're watching the Badgers or the Pointers, it's, it's called the same. Butler's free throw is good. 
Auto select quality, dependable auto repair and service performed by qualified technicians you can trust. 38-25, chance to make it a 14 point lead off the rim, no. Boy, another one for two free throw yep. situation. Brendan Wise got the rebound on ahead Vic. Threw it to Brody Fox, almost lost it out in the corner. Fox against Malik, got down to the baseline, sneaks in, blocked, blocked by Malik again. Comes up with it off to Buchanan. One. 31 seconds left, over to the right side, Butler. Butler at the arc. Does he realize nope. the pointers want one? He gets in deep, kicks it to the corner. Around it'll go to Buchanan. Right side, down to the baseline, sneaks through. Kicks it to the wing. 13 on the shot clock, out to Buchanan. Out on top, it'll go there. Malik wants three, gonna rim off long. Weiss with the rebound. Stout's gonna get the sh final shot. Brody Fox knocked away by Malik. Logan Bumgartner, oh, with two and a half <laughs> seconds, he hit the sideline. Yeah, we might have had a bust out. I don't know if two and a half seconds is enough time to, to get 60 feet. Well, not for me, but, but it would have some of you guys could probably it do that. It certainly would have prevented their final shot, which yeah. could close this in and get, get some momentum. That's, that's what Bumgartner gets for being so big. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I would have never got to that sideline, Scotty. Malik doing a heck of a job yeah, on Brody Fox, is. my goodness. All right, Vic is gonna be the inbounder. Two and a half seconds to go for the Blue Devils. He has the ball, looking, 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 lobs it in, Shore from the left corner. Short. It's gonna be short, and that is gonna do it. We are at the half. Good first 20 minutes for Stevens Point. UW Stevens Point 38. UW Stout 25 back here in a couple of minutes. UW Stevens Point men's basketball, WPCN. And UW Stevens Point with a 13 point advantage at 38 25. And that matches uh, the biggest lead of the game. That it does, Scotty. Uh, team started kind of back and forth. We had four lead changes, two ties in that early f first five minutes. And then uh, the pointers found a, a 10 0 spurt uh, in the middle of the, of the half and were able to get up by double digits, which they've held on to. Uh, and as you mentioned, 13 point lead, the biggest uh, that the pointers haven't enjoyed. Long, long ways to go on this yeah. one. I don't know that we're gonna hold Stout to 27% shooting in, in two halves in a row, but uh, that was certainly a key factor in the first half. No question about that. I thought, I, I hesitate 
to sound too excited, yeah. but I am because the defensive end is really what has been impressive to me so far, John, for Stevens Point. Well, they've made it tough on Brody Fox from a couple of standpoints. They're not letting him have much time to work one-on-one -on -one against any single defender. So we've been quick to double, and it's almost like, you know, pick your poison. You're going to hug three-point shooters. You're going to go and defend Brody down in the box. And the decision was made, you know what? If he can kick out and they can sh hit some threes, uh, that's what we're going to start with at least. And they've stayed with that. And they've also played him physical. Quite frankly, he's he's been bumped and, and, and knocked around a little bit. Uh, in that first half, they, they really made him have to work extremely hard. I was looking at, at Brody as he came off the ha half, and he, you could tell he was a, a young man that worked really hard for 20 minutes. So um, good defensive effort against a really good player in the first half. We'll see how things keep going. A lot of times, uh, guys like that have a way of, of getting, their t getting, <laughs> getting their points. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they'll probably have an extra emphasis on getting him going. Sometimes that proves to be really good and sometimes if you go too far to try to get one person involved, you lose your own flow and it can backfire. Yeah. But yep. you do have a guy that, that is scoring basically 30 points a game, so yeah, you got to believe he's going to get his it's, it's opportunity. Like if you're a Blue Devil and you're in trouble, find a guy with 11 on his back. Yep. <laughs> Say, Brody, go score. Yeah, so that's a, that's it, a fact. It, it, and you know what? He hasn't forced anything. That's what impresses me about Brody Fox. He's, he's not a guy that's just looking for 30. He really isn't. And I, I know he's, he's had 10 shots, and you would expect him to get the bulk of the Blue Devils shots. But they've come in the flow. They've come in the offense. He really hasn't forced anything. Um, so, you know, again, uh, him and Pearson down at Platteville will probably be the two guys, I'm guessing, Scotty, that will will be your two players of the year. I wonder which one of those young men will, will get it. It might, go, it might go to the guy that's on the team with the best record. Isn't it uh, how it usually goes? Yeah, I guess that's probably true. That's uh, normally more or less the way it goes. To, so the, to the victors go the spoils, yeah, so to speak. Something like that. Even though sometimes many would think it's not warranted to go that way, right? I mean, if you're playing on a worse team and doing spectacular things, aren't you playing even better well, than yeah. the guy? Well, you know, the, uh, and, and one of the mysteries to me on a on, on, on subject like that, and you know, those, those kind of awards, let's face it, you know, don't win championships. You know, individual awards come from championships, but I'm trying to figure out how Jordan Love wasn't even invited to the Pro Bowl yeah. after what he had the second most touched. Well, everybody at home are well aware of his statistics from this year. And I don't think he got mentioned in anything. No, no. Even when they had to find some yes. subs yeah. for guys. No. Well, you know what? In a weird way, if you're a Packer fan, I'm okay with that because it'll get him hungrier even more I would think okay I'll show you next year kind of thing we'll yep. wait and see well, I Packer see. new, uh, new yep. defensive coordinator yeah. right yeah at a Boston College but he's got a storied uh, resume as far yeah. as working with great programs both at the collegiate level and in the pro level he's worked with a lot of great pro, uh, coaches a lot of great uh, at least a little bit I've read before we were able to get on there it seems like a and my first pick, my first thought, Scotty, when I said they hired the head coach of Boston College was, huh, <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> and uh, then I started reading. I hadn't even heard that he Whoa. was being looked at. Well, I knew they were looking at nobody. They had like eight guys, and nobody yeah. was older than 44. So um, when you get to be our age, that seems like 12. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, in the, in the short time now, I've had to, to read a couple paragraphs about him. Seems like he's got great credentials. Yeah, so that's a fact. Good, good luck to, to him as our newest Packer. The sad thing is, Scotty, one of the, is he one of the reasons for leaving college football was because of the transfer portal, and the NIL was in this article, and he said, I'm I'm sick of having to contend with that and recruit my own players so that they don't leave my university. And uh, well, that's 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 a discussion for about a three-hour talk show, right? No, or or more. Or more. And, and the truth is. I do believe they're going to get it under control at some point. Yep. It's not coming tomorrow by any yep. stretch, but they're going to have to. I think eventually university presidents, maybe they'll get 
Congress to, I, I don't really want Congress involved, but if that's what it takes, well, so be it. But you're right, we're, or, we're going down a wormhole here, yeah, we better yeah, stop. Yeah, or will football and, and yeah. NCAA stuff just leave university settings and go all well, independent. I'm but, not against but that necessarily. You're right, well, we'll get back to basketball. There you go. <laughs> 38-25, the pointers lead at the half. Let's take a one-minute break. When we come back, John will have all the stats from half number one, UW-Stevens Point with a 13-point lead over Stout. We're back in one minute. Pointers basketball, WPCN. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'll call you back. One minute. Never had trouble before. Halftime here at the Quant. Stevens Point with a 38-25 lead over Stout. And John has all the numbers from half number one. That I do, Scotty. For our visitors tonight, the Blue Devils from UW Stout in Menominee, Wisconsin. They finished the first half of 8 of 29 from the field, 27%. They shoot 40, 40, what is that, 47% on the, on the year, Scotty. So way below their season average. Just one of nine from behind the three-point line, 11%, and they've hit eight of 10 free throws, and of course, that's 80%. 20 rebounds for the Blue Devils, six on their offensive end. They've had seven assists to go with seven turnovers, two steals, and two block shots. For the pointers, 16 of 32, 50%, four of nine from behind the arc, 44%, just four free throws, they've made two of them. Also 20 rebounds, three on their offensive end, eight assists to go with four turnovers, not too bad. Five steals and three block shots. Points off turnovers, 12-4, Stevens point. Points down in the paint, Scotty, 28. 22-8, that is, Stevens point. And points off the bench, Stevens point with an advantage, 13-4. And of course, where it counts the most on the scoreboard, the pointers lead by, is that a Baker's Dozen 13? Yes, yep. yes. Remember Baker's Dozen uh, located right now where Taco Bell is? You don't go to those places. Street. See, when you're diabetic, they keep you away from Oh, those that was places. a long time ago yeah. before you were <laughs> yeah. declared before diabetic. Before I was declared so. diabetic. Well, that may be why I'm diabetic. No, I didn't no. stay away from those places. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Baker's Dozen. That was a good plot uh, place right here next to campus. All right, scoring in the opening half for Stout. Eight for Aiden Shore. Even though we're talking like Brody Fox didn't do anything, he had seven points for Pete's sake. Uh, three points for Jacob Walchek. Two apiece for Nick Jungle and George Charlo and Carson Leitzinger. And one for Colin Vick. And for Stevens Point, ten apiece for Josiah Butler and Ryan Genrick. Six points for Malik Abdul Wahid. Five for Cal Crone, three and a half for Logan Bumgartner, two apiece for Seth Myron and Darius Bolden. And Stevens Point has the 13 point lead. Uh, let's see, other men's scores at the half. Well, this is why it's always an interesting league. At the half, Eau Claire 38, Platteville 28. Wow. It's Oshkosh 30, Whitewater 27, and River Falls on the road leading lacrosse 42 to 40. On the women's side, it is at the half, lacrosse leading River 35-33. Oshkosh trailing Whitewater 28-24. It is Platteville 30, Eau Claire 21, and the UWSP women tied with Stout oh. at 25 at the half. Our pointers, they do have a 13 point lead. 
you know Stout is going to come out hard and try to cut that lead in a hurry. You have to be solid with yep, the ball. You do. Make a few shots. I'd rather be up 13 than down, Well, John. for sure. And you assume they're going to make a run at you at some point, and they're going to have to hold up to it. Will Stout come out with, with full court pressure? It didn't work so well uh, the last time we saw him, but um, who knows? I think they're probably feeling, Scotty, if we just make some shots, we'll get back into this game again. Uh, just 8 of 29, and um, it's hard to beat somebody when you're only shooting 27%. They can heat that up to 45, 50, and then uh, away they go. Well, that's a fact. And you're not going to probably see Brody Fox shoot two out of ten nope. too often. And Keeping in mind, Malik blocked three of those. Yep. So 38-25, yep. let's take a one-minute break. We'll come back and play the second half. UW-Stevens Point, men's basketball, WPCN. Pointers can win a third straight conference game and start off this week with a win, knowing that Saturday you've got another tough opponent coming in here and uh, a team we have not beaten for quite some time now in the lacrosse Eagles. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of, a long time. You know, Scotty, I don't remember, and I didn't go into the archives to look, when is the last time Stevens Point won three conference games in a row? <laughs> That's a fair question. If, if I do not if, know, if we should pull that off, easy I'm, enough to look. Yeah, if, if we should pull that off tonight, uh, we'll, I'll have that for you. Uh, oh, by, we'll by have Saturday. it tonight. Yeah, we can look easy enough oh. on, and find that right on the website. But more important, let's uh, see yeah. if we can get gotta, a win. Got to, got to do it, not talk about yep. it. Yep. Abdul Wahid, Butler, Myron, Bolden, Crone, the same five that started. Inbound, it'll come to Vic. And Stout with the basketball. They have the same five out there right now. Down on the right baseline, Shore. Crone on him. Second man drops in. Into the lane, Vic. Kick out, open three. Got it. Well, that time they made us pay for doubling the post. Yep. Yep. Walchick hits the three. So Bolden will bring it up. You're down to a 10-point lead at 38 to 28. Darius nearly turning it over. Butler back to Darius. His three on the way. Rims out. Myron with a rebound. Fell down with it. Call and that that's going to be traveling. He brought the ball down to the floor. Well, he got knocked to the floor. But yeah. again, there's no whistle there. That's what Coach Jernbach is saying. He got knocked to the floor. 38-28. And Vic will bring it up. Into the front court. Over on the left side. It'll go to Fox up on top against Malik. Stopped his dribble, goes out, three ball. Bang. Back to back threes, and it's a seven point game. Amazing what happens when the ball goes in the basket. 38 Six. 31. Six in a row to start the half. Well, and you didn't get a, a basket yourself. So Malik off the crone screen down to the right baseline, trying to work inside. Pinned down, needs help. Looking, bounces it out to Butler. A basket would be good. Josiah gets in deep, double clutch, kick out. Myron for three, got it! Well, that was a much needed answer. Yep. 41-31, now you need a stop. Vic into the front court. They've hit back-to-back -back threes. Can you get a stop here? Vic off the dribble, working left side. Against Butler, second man comes over, kick it out to the corner. Brody Fox into the lane. He'll go up inside, missed it. Myron with a rebound. Ah, good up and under move, just yep. overlaid it. Butler front court. 
Off the crone screen to the top of the circle. Josiah gets another crone screen down to the left baseline. A little too much dribbling. Kick out Bolden. Bolden working down to the baseline himself. Works in, back behind his back wow. to Crone, and Cal's knocked wow. to the floor. He'll go to the line. Wasn't that a nifty pass by Darius Bolden? He looked like he was trying to kick to the corner that he was dribbling towards on the baseline, and he just shoveled a pass behind his back as the defense shifted with him. They show Aiden Shore with his first. I would swear he had a foul in the opening half. Let me see what the official. Could be a, I guess nope, not. No, they got him zero in, in, the, uh, in the stats, Scotty. Well, so that not shows so. what I know. Cal makes them both. I remember saying it would be nice to get two more quick ones yeah. on him. I thought that foul came I, early. I, I swear. Unless they changed it, it's and we didn't know. It's possible. Brody Fox out at the timeline, 43-31. Yep. Right side to Charlo into the corner. Nice defense by Myron. Swing it around to the left side. Fox back out. Charlo another three off the rim. Bolden with a rebound. Darius quickly front court. Thought he saw an advantage, but then slows things down. Off the screen, free throw line, 15-footer. Not going to go. Rebound. Stout. Fox will bring it up. Brody into the front court, over to the circle, over to the right baseline, sneaking in, into the hands of Shore. Shore down in the post, he'll go up nice and score play. it. Good patience. He kind of waited for all the congestion to leave him. He was, <laughs> four pointers were around Shore initially, and he just kind of waited for two of them to disappear. 43-33, Butler off to Crone, right back to Josiah, trying to get baseline against Vic. Hold, and a foul is called on Colin Vick. Yeah, they've they're been playing Josiah Butler small, trying to go a little quickness. Other teams have kind of played him big. 43-33, 17 minutes to go in the game. Bolden inbounds right underneath. Butler up, he'll score it. Well, used that screen, went around it once, and then came back and around Josiah it the other way. And strong. He is. You know, he's a strong, well-built young man. Over to the right corner, it'll go there. Down inside. Back in his way in, Charlo turn around off the rim, Cal Crone rebound. Seth Myron held his positions really well on that. Off it'll come, Bolden into the front court. Top of the circle. Oh, and they're gonna say and Cal turned in. And a screening foul on Cal Crone. Yeah, he just kind of turned to follow Darius and they said, that's illegal, you had to hold it. Huh. Well, that's a turnover you don't like to get, but that's the way that goes. You see that call a lot. Clear. Yep, Vic with it. Goes left, there was a That's near a, uh, offensive thing. foul there. Into the corner, Walchek lifts the jumper and scores Oh, he's it. got a little fadeaway there. Walchek from Chippewa Ten Falls. 10-point game again, 16-17 to go. Bolden off the Malik screen out high. Darius down to the baseline to Crone. Cal against Shore. Gets by him, goes up, reverse, and, and draws the foul. Two. Yeah. He showed some ball, and Shore went for that fake. And good attack on the baseline. He's going to go reverse. You know, even reverses are tough against Shore. He's 6'10. He can block him even from the other side of the bat, other side of the rim. Yep. Yeah, he can do a lot. Nice to be long. <laughs> Crone's free throw, good. <laughs> I only ever had that advantage, Scotty, when I used to play first and second graders on the playground. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. And I, I gave them no mercy. I yeah, have to, absolutely. No, when no. you've got an advantage, you no, take, you might take well, that advantage. You might as well learn toughness right from the get-go. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Tricor Insurance dedicated to helping our clients, employees, and communities succeed. Offices all over the state, including Stevens Point, Marshfield, Wisconsin Rapids. Cal made them both 47-35. Left side to Brody Fox. Up on top, stops his dribble, gives it off to Nick Jungle, who is back into the game. Jungle, one bounce, hands it back to Fox. Oh, back beautiful. to Jungle, right to the hoop, and he'll yep, score it. Yep. Fox to passer that time, good give and go. 47-37. Malik over to Butler on the right wing. Josiah toward the corner. Vic trying to guard there. Tosses it out to Bolden. Darius into the lane, got by Fox to the basket, can't get it to go. Oh, good drive, Darius ended up on his fanny again. Off it'll go, into the lane, 
Weiss to the corner. That's double. Yeah, that was slapped no. away by Bolden, picked up by Butler, and he is going to be fouled this time. What, what they're going to say there why that was not a double dribble was it was a fumble. And if it's a fumble, that's not a double. That's a good call, Scotty. I think I agree with that. You heard, maybe heard the bench in the background wanting double dribble, but I agree with the official that that was a I fumble. I think I heard you say double dribble. No, I did dribble. initially. And I couldn't see yeah, any no, of it. I did initially because he, cause he, he kind of mishandled it and dropped it and then dribbled. But I, I, I see the interpretation as a fumble being correct. 15-15 to go, 47-37. Stevens Point with the lead will stay right here. This is a media timeout. Uh, well, so far, so good. You've got a few more turnovers than yeah. we might like here in the second half early going. But as long as you keep that lead up there, you know, you, you got to feel fairly good. But the Blue Devils far more efficient right away in this, yeah. this half sky. They're five of eight now, 62%, and they've hit two of their three-point shots. So scoring uh, more efficiently in the second half, they, they've cut into that lead by three. And the pointer is just two of five. We've got three fewer shots than to the Blue Devils, but that was, those are those turnovers you had. And we're one of two from behind the arc. We're pushing four of four free throws, however. Yep, got to like that. Yes. Got to make free throws. Yeah. We talk about that all, all the time. All the time. Final score, Sports Bar and Grill scoreboard shows Stevens Point 47, Stout 37. Watch your favorite teams. Enjoy the daily food and drink specials. Final score, second and Maria in Stevens Point. Scotty, we were talking about Colfax, Wisconsin earlier for our Blue Devil fans following along. I'm so old, I remember when a young man named Kenny Obermuller played for the Blue Devils. I think that might have been their last conference championship team. He was from Colfax, I do believe. Stevens Point with the ball. Cal Crone leaves it for Bolden. Darius back to Cal inside, he'll go up and score it. Yeah, somehow he got freed on that, that screen. He just dove to the basket and nobody went with him. 49-37. With the ball is Leitzinger, he's back in there. Weiss with it against Butler to the lane. Kick out on the wing, Walchek. Walchek across the way, jungle to Fox. He fumbled but got it back. Out on the right or left side. Lifting from the top of the circle off the rim. Darius Bolden with a rebound off the miss by Walchek. Up it'll come, pointers by 12. Kick out, Malik for three, no. Rebound Fox. Malik a good three point shooter. Fox, top of the circle, quickly pulls up from 15. And they're gonna get a foul. Cal apparently yep. got him on the elbow. I think that's probably a call that he would have thought he should have gotten in the first half. This time he goes to the line for two. 14.22 to go, Stevens Point by a dozen. Fox will get two. And you pretty much expect that yeah. he'll make two. 70%, we probably would like to be a little better than that maybe. First on the way, in and out. And he did it. 49-37, Stevens Point with the lead, trying to get to five and four in league play. Ryan Genrick into the game for Scotty. Stevens Point. <laughs> Coming in tonight, Brody Fox has shot 189 free throws. Stevens Point as a team has shot 261. Second free throw, doesn't go either. Both. But he's, he's pushing 200 free throws by the end of this game. Into the front court, Butler with it. Over to the right side to Myron. Seth gives it up to uh, Smooth. Wanted to go inside to Crone, but waited a little too now, uh, long. Now Cal has it on the right baseline. Trying to spin and by Jungle, and that's, he got both hands yeah, out there. Got, that's an easy call. Yeah, he got the arm bar. He reached early. And, we're, and, and then when, when Cal spun, then he put the arm bar up because he got beat by half a step. That is two on Jungle, so. Yeah. They must have given the foul First, I thought yeah. was on short a jungle earlier. I must yep. have just made a mistake. Outside Myron three, not gonna go. And the rebound off to Brody Fox, 49-37. Front court, Fox left wing. Malik's done a good job there. He's trying to back him down this time. Kick out on top, over to the right side. It'll go there, oh, Charlo and, and another Josiah. foul. And Butler, Yep. hand check out in the top. You put that. The hands on the, on the jersey. Third team foul. Yep, two. Here comes Logan Bumgartner. I'm gonna give Cal Crone. Now keep in mind, Cal's playing with quite a sore shoulder. Yep. But he just said, 
put some quarter zone in there and I'm gonna play and worry about it at the end of the year. Leitzinger over to the left side will go to Brody Fox. Fox long cross court lob to Leitzinger. Inside the jungle, back out Leitzinger. Jungle on the right baseline, five on the shot clock, spins, stolen away inside by Myron. Came over to help, Seth into the front court, left corner it'll go to Malik. Crossover, runs baseline, lays oh, that it up. Was that's goaltending. That's goaltending through the, actually I think oh. that hand might have come up through the rim. I think it did. Yeah. Malik will get two on that one. Biggest lead of the night now at 14. 51-37, Stevens point. 13, 19 to go, so there's so much time this left. Is a, this is a good sized, albeit quiet crowd. Yeah, Leitzinger into the front court. Yeah, you'd like to get some life. Leitzinger with the right wing dribble. Gives it off on the wing inside. They tried to go to jungle, stolen away by Blake Quartz. Missed him, you're right, that's exactly what happened. Blake into the front court, right corner, Genrick. Runs it into the lane, down the lane, right hand huh? layup, no foul, jungle. That'll be his third. Ryan Genrick not afraid to go in against no. anybody. That's that football stuff, John. Yeah, yep. And a senior body and a senior yep. experience. Yep, yep. And he's now added that outside yep. shot, so yep. they have to respect that. He's got enough quicks, he can get by you in a hurry and take it right to the rack. Yep. Media timeout, 12.56 yep. to go. Let's take a 30 second break. We'll come right back. Pointers basketball, WPCN. Fifty-six to go in this one. Stevens Point 51, Stout 37. On your final score, Sports Bar and Grill scoreboard, you can score amazing food and drinks at Stevens Point's perennial Sports Bar and Grill. The final score, Sports Bar and Grill, second of Maria Stevens Point, Ryan Genrick to the free throw line. Scotty, was that a 30 second by one of the teams? It I must have been. I don't think anybody was sitting down. No, it must have been, and Boy. Ryan left the first oh, one way short. That barely caught the front of the iron. I'm guessing that that was on Stout, maybe the timeout, took, that is. they took the 30, ice to 12, shoot. 12.56, <laughs> I see it. their timeouts are down to four. Oh, that's short, too. Oh, wow. I mean, that's an air ball. Yep, first one barely caught the Whoa, rim. Oh, and the second one was three feet short. And he's kind of laughing, but embarrassed as well. Yeah. 51-37, Leitzinger gives it up high right, Charlo. Off to Brody Fox against Genrick. And Ryan had a yeah, chance call with a, a kick. steal. And it is a kicking violation. What hustle. Yep. Oh, they're that at 18 and they're gonna go, there it goes back to 20. Shot clock hadn't moved, it has now, so they got 20. 51-37, Stout inbounds off the left sideline. Leitzinger into the hands of Fox. Guarded by oh. Genrick, takes him inside, kicks it out on the wing, Leitzinger. High out on top, running uh, off the wing, three ball, no, and they're gonna call a foul on Quartz. Yep, uh, you're gonna get three free throws. The thing you always hate to see on a three-point shot. But well, he did turn in, Scotty. He did. Instead of staying squared up, he did a, he did a little half turn and that left hip got a little bit of the shooter. So three easy ones, and the first is good for Caden Hoffman. Boy, I tell you, you miss two free throws, and you come down and you give three on a, on a, on a three-point shot that was shot in desperation because the shot clock was going down. So yep. that's, that's a five-point turnaround. Yep. Made the first two. He can cut it to an 11-point lead. Hilltop Hub and Grill for lunch or dinner. The Hilltop is there for you. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. Open daily at 11, and he did make all three. He was not going to make that shot, I'll tell you. I mean, the original three-point shot, so. 51-40. Genrick into the front court. Sends it over to Butler. 
Now you got to respond with the basket. And they're playing zone, Scotty. Out to Butler. He's going to take a three and got it. That, well, that's a good way to, <laughs> to go against the zone. That looked like a 3-2 zone to me, and we're able to get one from the top. Leitzinger on top against Butler. Working left wing, 54-40. Into the hands here of Hoffman. Fox wanting to go inside the shore. Oh, Fox, and I got the bump. And, yeah. Genrick's going to get the foul, yeah, I think. Geez. Ryan's saying no. He's got uh, his, his arm up. He's saying the knee off. He, he, he got me first, coach. Team foul five. That's two on Ryan. Two Genrick. on Ryan, yeah. yep. Stout will inbound again. Stout with six team fouls. Inbound, and we've got a screening a foul. Wow. That's going to be That's another. going on courts again. Yeah, courts got held him coming around the screen. That evens the team fouls up at six, so yeah. from now on, everybody's, everybody's shooting. shooting. Yep. Vic will try to inbound again. And he'll throw it in long. Charlo with it. In deep, it'll go to shore against Bumgartner. Spin move goes up and no. off the rim, no. Well, Seth Myron with the rebound. Halfway down and then uh, kind of just held uh, and hunger. fell off the rim. Butler top of the circle, inside to Myron. Myron takes it outside the, arc, uh, outside the lane. Didn't want to get caught there. Staying in the zone. Over to Quartz, back to Butler. He's got a three on the way, count it again. I don't know if you want to play a zone. On Josiah Butler. Yeah. Quickly up, it'll come to Fox on the wing. He got away with the travel, leans in on the baseline and scores. Wow. Hung with it, tough move. 57-42, Stevens Point with the advantage. Left side, Genrick. Three on the way, Bumgartner's got it. Boy, oh boy. 60 to 42, Stevens Point. Right side, it will go off there to Hoffman. From the corner, oh, oh. and a three ball buried right back by oh Charlo. Got to get the net down. Yeah, apparently. 10.52 to go, Malik will come back for Blake Court. See if they go back to man to man. 60 to 45, that's, point by 15 at the moment. That zone didn't exactly work. Well, it worked for me. I don't know <laughs> about you. Lierre's Chuler is providing custom design jewelry, free custom design yeah, consultations, they're, they're back as well man. as jewelry repair where dreams are made. Good luck, pointers, from Lierre's. Malik inside, double clutches, took a wild Poor shot, shit. didn't get it to go. Here they come quickly, Vic, front court underneath Fox, he'll lay it in. Yeah. Well, turnovers, quick twos. Yeah, now don't get crazy here. You've got a nice lead, but you have to be good with the ball. Three on the way, that's not going to go. And the rebound, and Vic will come down. They can cut into it again. Fox in the right corner. Runs toward the lane, another and foul. another foul. This time on Genrick. Fox is now trying to take over the game. Yeah, but, but you know what? There's a size disadvantage for the pointers. We, we, we've gone small on him and tough with Ryan. Malik. Maybe he had the better of him in the first half, Scott. And he does not have a foul. No, Malik I'm does not. We'll go back to Malik on, on Fox because I'm not sure that's a matchup that, that Ryan's ready for. Well, not many people in this conference have no. been ready for. And you just don't want him to get red hot yeah. on you here because then you could be opening the door yeah. to Boy, trouble. There, there was a time there, Scotty, where Blue Devils were in a little trouble. In the last minute and a half, they've, they've kind of squ squelched it. Brody Fox missed another free that throw, does John. Not, that does not help, especially front end of a bonus. That's essentially a turnover. Bolden inside Malik, had his man on his back, Blocked. goes up, shot blocked. Yeah. Quickly, Vic, throw it on ahead, picked up by Charlo out on the wing, three on the way, counted for Walchek. And a quick timeout by... And Stout's gonna take the time. They're back within 10. Yeah, it was 18 just, and just like that. that. Quick. It's, I tell you what, three-point shooting brings the lead down in a yep. hurry. And your, your own mistakes yep. compounded. 9.53 to go, game far from over. And Stout will be down to three timeouts left. This is a one-minute break, so let's take 30 seconds. We will come back. Pointers Basketball, WPCN.
in this ball game, a moment ago you were going, all right, we're yeah. up by 17, Eight, we're up by 18, 18 yeah, and yeah. then bang, bang, bang. Yep. You got a couple of calls against you. You allowed them to hit a couple of triples, and lo and behold, it's a 10-point game. Yeah, and you allowed uh, them to get out and run on some, on some breaks. Most of those points came in open floor. Uh, you can tell that the Blue Devils love to play up-tempo. Of course, we know they score 82 points per game, so they like it fast. Yep. And Stevens Point doesn't want to go into a stall, but you could take a little bit more time on your shot selection. Bolden on the left wing. A basket would be big right here. Butler looking into Cal Crone. Josiah gets a straight line drive to the basket, and they're going to call that a block. It looked yep. like a foul. Brody Fox off to Walchek inside block to see that's a foul. And I don't get why one end is a foul and this was not. I think what the official was looking at on our end was Shore, who just snuffed the play out. But coaches, you know, saying it was the other guy that was underneath. Didn't get the call. No. No, and now you send them right back yeah. to the free throw line to cut into it again. First down the way, not going to go. All, all those, all those block shots give the Blue Devils a chance to get out and run. Wow. Short's well, been a difference maker. You know what? You better get a Scotty. positive feel back and yeah. quit, uh, yeah. quit sulking here. Missed them both. Rebound out of bounds. Stevens Point ball. Boy, oh boy, they've missed four free throws. They're not doing themselves a favor. There, well, Scotty. Stevens Point missed two, so. Yeah, yep. 60 to but 50 I'll here. Tell you what, Shore's Need a been, basket. Shore's been a difference maker for them on their defensive end. Need a basket here. Bolden into the front court. Darius leaves it for Myron. Over it'll come to Crone. Back out, Darius over the top of the circle. Underneath the Crone. Cal took too long. Should have had an easy one in and out. Oh, rebound. Stevens point. Malik. And Malik goes back up and scores it. Yeah. How did he get the ball? Yeah, he just got between a couple. Vic over devils. to Charlo. Down to the right baseline. Swings it all the way over, open left corner, three ball left short, rebound inside Cal Crone. Well, you don't get any more open than that. No, not really, 62-50. Coach trying to get his guys to move on the offensive end here. Bolden in the right corner, you're up by 12. Darius into the lane, gives back on the wing, Whoa. and boy, almost turned it over. Malik comes up with it, takes it into the lane. Working, working, kick out, Butler, shot clock seven. Josiah. Crossover dribble, free throw line, takes a tough shot, can't get it to go. He really had a bad possession. Yep. On ahead, Brody Fox against Malik. Leans in, off the rim, no, put back, no Over foul. The back. They're gonna call it on the pointer. It's gonna go on Malik again. Shore came right over the top of him. Huh. Well, you're getting caught a little bit now on your heels yep. defensively. Yep. Tiring Here's out, the problem. Maybe. You're down to nine or at 19 nine, fouls. And, and they're gonna shoot from here on in. Aiden Shores, two out of two from the line and misses. 62-50. Wow. They are now 11 of 18, Scotty. Brendan Wise will come in. You're still up a dozen, but it is uh, getting to be make it tight final. collar make, time. Make it 11 of 19, actually. And he makes that one. Uh, that's 12 of 20, 60%. 62-51. Once again, need a basket. Need some life in this yeah, crowd, need, folks. Need to get a good offense. 8.13 to go, and Point wants a timeout. We need some life in the crowd here. 8.13 to go, pointers by 11. And Stevens Point calling the timeout here. This will be a one minute timeout. Stevens Point will be down to four timeouts left. Stout has three timeouts left in this ball game. Well, you've had a few rough possessions. Yeah. You're not getting any calls, but I'm not saying you're supposed to be getting calls. You know, it's just not worked out for you. You had some open shots. Now they are really extending their defense, making it awful hard. Yep. You got to move the ball a little bit better, I think. Well, I tell you, we've got nothing in the inside. I'll come back to it again. Uh, Aiden Shore is playing, you know, center fielder back there. He, uh, he's got that 16, 16 body and, and long arms, and he's got good feet. I mean, this is a good 6'10 player. Yep. And uh, we've been around the rim some, and he's just swatting them away. It's, again, it's nice to be able to maybe 
let your guy buy you when you know you got the defender behind you. Yeah, when you have the uh, aircraft carrier sitting down yeah. in the deep water, <laughs> you, uh, you can play a little bit with the battleships out on the perimeter, right? Exactly. Butler will inbound I, I for hope, Stevens Point. I hope those battleships start shooting better. PT boats, whatever <laughs> it might be. <laughs> start shooting more accurately. Darius Bolden took the inbound and gives it up to Cal Crone. Back to Darius, into the left corner, slides baseline, oh, and missed, missed the it. layup going in. Oh, I don't know, he may have lost the ball going up. I do not know. He got everything there and then missed it. Brody Fox had it poked away. Loose on the floor, Crone will come out with it. Off to Darius into the front court. Darius leaves it off. Crone down the lane, underneath to Malik. No shot available, out to Butler. Butler down the right of the lane, bounces it out to Myron. 17 on the shot clock. I'll use some time. Darius explodes into the lane and a foul finally gonna, gonna be go whistled. Boy, Darius was probably so surprised because when, when on that last possession he got by both Fox and Shore and was wide open. I think he was surprised like, where's the next shot blocker and it never came. And he Ball just- check with his second. Yeah, he just crotched that that easy yeah. layup. Well, yeah. easy, easy for us to say. Yeah. But you're right, he might have lost it. Maybe uh, just lost the, the ball, well, I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe so, because it wasn't close. Well, now you got to make free throws. Front end of a one and one, got it. It's big. Not only that point, but it kind of takes it everybody, right? Yeah, it just settles you down. There he is, second is good. Nothing but net both times, 64-51. Leitzinger into the front court, works left. Oh, and off the hand of Brody Fox, picked up by Stevens Point. Lead feed over the head of Butler, saves it back for Malik, and he'll flush! And a foul. Wow. Well, there is the pointers getting out in open floor and running. What a great play by Josiah Butler. That pass was long, and he's going, uh-oh, this is going out of bounds. And he was lucky maybe a little bit, or we were, because the only guy trailing him was Malik. Walchek's third, and Malik trying to make it a three-point play, and he does. Oh, that's a big turnaround. Now we're back to 16. 67-51, 718 to go. Still plenty of time. Wise on the right wing, gets it into the hands of Walchek. He's had a hot hand here lately. Off to Brody Fox. Fox working to the right corner. Malik back on him as we suspected. Works into the lane area. No shot available out, it'll come to Walchek. Off the jungle screen, ball poked away. Loose on the floor. Jungle had it, lost it, throws it to the right corner. Stout with it, shovels it down the lane. Shot and what do we got? What do they got, they got a foul? I'm waiting to see the official's indication. They don't well, know. He did not get the shot off in time, I will tell you that. But they were whistling what stuff a before. What a scramble. Oh boy, we're not gonna like this no, call. No, probably not. They're going over to Jim Lake, the stout coach, to explain. But if something happened, what are they gonna do? Put a to second, go. they're gonna put two seconds on? Wow. They're gonna put two on. So something got kicked in there, Scotty, and that's when they blew it dead. I assume they're saying kick ball. Well, it is Stout gonna inbound under its own basket. See if they lob something to the big guy here, I would uh, think maybe. Well, the, Shore's he's not, not in. in there. Well, Jungle's out in the right corner. Will they go to Brady, uh, will they go to Brody Fox? <laughs> they want Coach back in his coaching box here, Coach Dern. All right, Stout will inbound under its own basket. Yeah, I'm looking for a lob feed here, Scotty. And, so and if nothing else, maybe they'll call a foul on it. Yep. All right, hand it in, into the corner it'll go, falling down, well, you're not gonna get a clock. shot off, that's yeah. a good defense, oh, oh, and Jungle with a technical foul. You know, he, he had, just pushed you know, two guys he over. He kinda lost his composure earlier in this game, and there he completely lost it, the kid from Michigan. Coach trying to get the fan no, riled no, not up. Not only is that a technical, Scotty, but that's flagrant. That was clearly a hard push. Yeah, that, that wasn't a little. That's the kind they look at the, the monitor on in, 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 in the big Division One. I mean, we he, got a monitor. Uh, no, we don't. No, but, but he, 
He actually pushed. Yeah, he did. And we all saw it, so. How do we not get up on that, Scott? How do we Let's see. 67 to 51. And the foul is on Jungle. Fourth. That should, did they not call technical? Yes. Oh, they did, I'm sorry. Well, I, I think they got a foul and then a technical, perhaps. Okay. Let's see what they got. Bolden missed the first and, one. And, and here you go again, having to shoot these by yourself. We talk about that yeah. all the time. You should, be able, you should be able to take a teammate with you. I, I still believe so. Darius second is good. <laughs> well, you should have the option. Yes. You know what? Just, it matters not if guys are there. So give the player who's gonna shoot the option. By the way, Jungle also gets a personal foul. Right. So, that, so that, he's got that, four. So he's got four. But you know, he was losing, Team nine. His, he was losing his composure earlier today. Yep. In fact, um, the, big guy, point the big guy sure pulled him away one time and he pushed him away. Bolden, Myron out to Crone. Stevens Point with the ball off the technical. Darius into the left corner. And then he just simply There's lost the handle on dribbling, the ball. Darius. Yeah, too much. There was no passing. Darius took it from right in front of us all the way around and over to the left and corner. just got stuck. Back it'll come. And Charlo got underneath and a dunk this time Look, for Walchek. You've got a case to do some real damage and you end up getting one and they get two. 68-53, Bolden working left, bounces it to Crone. Cal into the corner to Butler. Still have a nice lead, but there's a lot of time left. Butler underneath the Cal Crone, nothing there. Cal bounces it, Malik down the lane, lays it in. What a nice pass. Boy, what a good look. And, and what a good attack. And, and what a good cut. Quickly down, Brody Fox, turnaround jumper, oh. and he got that one, and that is just one of those plays yeah, you go, that's just, great play. That's just a great player making a tough shot. 70 to 55, 547 to go here. Darius brings it right back. Top of the circle, into the free throw lane, down the lane, bounces it out to Malik. Malik down to the left corner again. Got to get some off ball movement here. Malik into the lane, spins down the lane oh. and draws a foul. And that's gonna be two shots now, all the way for both teams. That was gonna be a two uh, shot Shore. foul regardless. So Shore's third and Malik Abdul Wahid to the line gets the first. Well, you keep making free throws now down the stretch. You can maybe snuff this game away. Genrick back in for Stevens Point. Malik will get the second. Got it. 72-55 by 17. Five and a half minutes to go. Charlo on the right side. Hands it back there. Walchap and the Cal. Reaching hey. over the top. Yeah, the hey. bad part is you stop no, the clock. And, and there's a case, guy. You've got to understand clock and score. Yeah. We, and, and, and you're up 17. There's 520. Don't stop the clock with a reach over the top. He yep. was not going to catch that in a position to score And he's up at the elbow. It's yeah, not like yeah, he's no. going to turn and hit a 15-footer. With, with his back to the basket. So there's no point to try to, to attack that, that basketball in that case. And he's a very good free thrower, yeah. and he makes the first, 72-56. Yeah. So earlier in the game, maybe, but not with 521 left. Second one by the lefty is off the mark, and the rebound tipped out of bounds over the top. off of the hand of Charlo. Charlo. Yep. So Point will get it back, full court pressure. Yeah, they need to do that now, they need to get Myron some gets it into Genrick, right back to Seth. On ahead it'll come to Butler, back to Genrick, and he crosses the timeline. Back over to Josiah Butler. You know, if you're gonna foul somebody, if you're stout, you might wanna fo foul Ryan. Crone, Malik, Crone, back outside, Butler. Down the left of the lane, got inside, clutches, got and it. goes up and hits it. Well, Josiah's so good. Usually goes to her right. That time went left. 74-56 by 18. Charlo working on the right side, gives to the corner. In deep, it'll go, oh, and he out of bounds. Away. Not a yep. foul, but yeah, just no. out of bounds. We got a good deflection. Didn't let that come into the post. 447 to go. Vic, the inbounder, and it's stolen away off the inbound. Myron Time on out. his knees, you get a timeout if you wanted it. Got rid of it to Genrick. Ryan into the front yeah, that's court. That's a big steal there. 
our crowd is a little bit yeah. sitting on its hands for something this good right now. Into the left corner, it'll go to Butler. Butler holds it against Vic. Vic kind of banging into him out to Cal Crone. Crone down to the left baseline against Shore. Trying to back him in. Cal spin move goes up and hits it. Against the big guy. Took him to the baseline off the right shoulder. Well, you're starting to feel good now, Scott. You're up 24 10 to go. Yeah. Vic into the lane, down the lane. A little bump yeah, for it was Butler. A bump. Got in deep. Fadeaway jumper off the rim. Butler with a rebound. This Four minutes to go in the ball game. Yeah, this one's getting away from the Blue Devils. Butler up high. It'll go to Cal. Back to Ryan Gunrick. Works dribble off to Cal near the top of the circle. Stout looks a little tired when yeah. you're chasing all the time. Underneath the Myron layup, good. Wow. Seth Myron with seven, what a nice pass by Cal Crone. In deep to shore, he'll Whoa. go up, miss the dunk, but it comes back to him, goes up, foul. and a foul on Butler. Yep. I like Shore, Scott, he's a nice player. Aiden, I would take him. <laughs> Aiden, yeah, Aiden Shore out of Sterling, Illinois, wherever that is. Just a junior. South of the border, John. Yeah. 78 56 <laughs> pointers. But uh, three and a half minutes to go. Two free ones for Shore. First on the way, rims out. Well, they have missed nah, a bundle uh, they're, they're of thir free throws. 13 of 23. And. Uh, and when it seems worse than uh, that, but, doesn't but it? Then, and a, some of those, a couple of those were, were front ends of bonuses. And he but made one out of the I'll two. I'll tell you, when you're chasing, you need, you need every free throw. Yep. 78, 56, uh, 57. Oh, bad pass right underneath by uh, Butler, and it's stolen away and laid in. This I can be loose once in a while. And, and well, you, it was a slow yeah, bounce pass yeah, instead and, of snapping and, it. And, and under their basket. You yeah. got to know better than that. Myron into the front court point wants a timeout. You do not pass that Coach back. looking at Josiah like, okay. Freshman mistake. 3.13 to go. Timeout, Stevens Point. This is a one minute break. Wants his guys to get that little bit of refreshment to go the final 3 13. We'll take a 30 second break and come right back. Pointers Basketball, WPCN. remaining in this ball game. Stevens Point 78, Stout 59, John. The other thing, Scotty, is Josiah Butler's got to be thinking to himself, they're going to have to foul us. Who's the best free throw shooter on my team? I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, While well, you don't want to hog the ball, no, no, that's but, a situation but, but, but he, he did in, not have to No, he was it. in a position where he could have rolled out of there or spun out of there yep. with the dribble and uh, just made, a, as you said, a freshman mistake. Pointers with the ball, Malik out on the wing. Looked at Butler underneath, nothing there. Myron out between the rings, over to the right side, Darius. 12 on the shot clock to the free throw line. Cal Crone with it now, gets it to Josiah. Butler works to the free throw line, out to Bolden. Drives inside to the rack, and he missed the right hand layup. Up it'll come with Vic. Darius a lefty, by the way, from the corner. Three on the way, too long. Rebound out of bounds. It'll be off of Brody Fox. Well, they needed that one if they had any hope, I do believe. Fox has 13 points in the game as of right now. 78-59, yeah. 243 to go. Inbound, it'll come to Darius, double teamed in the corner and got rid of it. Off to Josiah Butler. He'll bring it into the yeah. front court. Use the clock, use the clock. Darius Bolden off on the right wing will go to Crone. Cal sends it back out to Butler, 78-59. Stevens Point looks like it'll win a third straight conference game. Been for ages. Darius, free throw line, pulls up, 15-footer, not gonna go, rebound, pulled well, down by Charlo. At least we used 30 seconds. On ahead to Vic, to Charlo. 
Left side, it'll go there. Brody Fox, spin move, beautiful foul. move. They're gonna call a foul yeah. on Malik. Malik hooked him on the spin. He clearly did. He's got his hands held up like, what did I do? It's like, well, you hooked him, Malik. <laughs> Good call. 78-59, Fox will get Scotty, two. We, we literally do not have to shoot again. We could just run shot clocks out if they're not gonna foul us and win this game. Yeah, assuming you don't turn it over, but yeah. Yeah, good call. 78-59. Free throw. He has missed wow. another one. Missed another one. He is three of eight. Well, I'm not going to say until he uh, takes this second one. Wow, very un Brody Fox-like. And he made that one. Not that one. So in the second Help! half, Help! he is uh, one out of five. Help! Wow. Pointers having a little trouble bringing the ball up here. Good full court pressure, now they do. Into the front court to Cal Crone. Inside two minutes to go, should be a pointer win. Yeah. They're not going Butler to Butler off to uh, Bolden. Left side, it'll go to Seth. So yeah, just pass the ball around. They're not gonna foul, you've got a game in hand. Darius underneath. Oh, and Malik with a tough shot on a pass from Darius Bolden. Uh, that was good eye contact between the two of them. Brody Fox kicks it out. Charlo wants three, that's offline. Long rebound, Cal Crone. Stop Minute ball. 20 to go. Front court with it. Leave it off for Darius. Point's gonna get a timeout and get some guys on the floor is what coach wants to Scotty, do. We gotta get these fans up here. Yeah, I agree. Stand up. Let's get some uh, crowd support here. There we Look go. The, the young guys getting into the game. Josiah Gilly coming into the game. Who else is gonna come in? Josiah, <laughs> he is such a funny man. Uh, let's see, Jackson Smith out of Rhinelander will get into the game. A.J. Utech out of uh, Columbus, Wisconsin. Shane Tarjan out of Niles, Illinois into the game and good to see Parker Prawl get into the game. He's been out injured for a while. Found out today, John, Parker 4.0 in wow. the opening semester. Well, that's what we expect out of kids from Iola. Yeah, well, for sure. UTech with it over, it'll come to Smith on the right side. Drops it in on the baseline to Josiah. Gilly holds it there, pulls up for the jumper, in and out, no. Rebound, we're gonna Parker. get a foul on Parker maybe. Yep. <laughs> Trying to get a loose ball rebound there. The four point student. Well, he got his name in the scorebook, that's all right. I mean, you got a, a victory. You keep doing that, Scotty, they'll call you a summa cum laude. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know anything about that part. How I, about you? I might have that on my diploma. Yeah. You, but I went to Stout. I so. would think that was somebody was writing some <laughs> nasty words at me or something. Uh, let's see, this is Mason Stoik at the free throw line, and he makes the first. He's out of Eau Claire Memorial. But, uh, ah, nice win for Stevens Point, 80 to 61. One minute to go in this one, three in a row in conference play, and he got them both. Nice job. Yep. Well, all right. Shane Tarjan into the front court. You do have to shoot. Tarjan over to Gilly. AJ Utech takes it down the lane, scooping the layup, can't hit it, tipped out. Josiah at the free throw line. Gilly backs it outside. 14 on the shot clock. Tarjan with it out on top. Gets a screen, works dribble right side, down to the baseline, picks up. Bounces or gives it outside to Utech. Four on the clock. Utech had it poked away and out of bounds with one second to go <laughs> on the at, shot look clock. Look at Josiah yelling, throw that up by the rim, somebody, I'll go tip it. <laughs> at six foot four, he would think he could. Inbounding, by the way, uh, Carson Holman in the game for Stout, and they'll get it to got, uh, get it, and he'll hit the shot anyway. 82-62. kids, <laughs> the students are... Uh, going crazy, of course, everybody loves Josiah here on campus. And, yeah. and as you may not know at home, he's a music major and already has a recording contract. Yeah. We, we go places and people out of the blue come in and recognize him and, and want his autograph, which is kind of bizarre. Sam Skaggs into the lane, down the he's lane and draws a foul. A foul. Yep. 
Yes. He wanted to get to the free throw line. Yeah, that's a fact. Where's well, why not? 22 and a half right. seconds These to go. These guys work just as hard as everybody else. Sam is a junior out of Logan Sport, Indiana. And that foul on Shane Tarjan. You know, Stout virtually an international school, Scotty. I mean, yeah, what, when some I of their majors, rightly so. When, when I was there, we had kids, I want to say, from at least 20 foreign countries. Skaggs in and out of course, with the free throw. I was from West Salem. Some of my roommates considered that a foreign country. 82-62. <laughs> We're happy. Stevens Point gets another win. Skaggs makes one out of the two. Yep. 19 well, point what lead. a great win, huh? Oh, absolutely. Against a good team. Yep. Shane into the right corner. It'll go to no, Jackson They, they Smith. don't want a shot here. Yep. No shot. Out to Gilly. Coach telling him, don't shoot it. No, no. Josiah's going to lift a three. Coach not happy with that. Eight seconds to go. He'll talk to him about it. I'll guarantee you that. Into yeah. the right corner. Stout will take the shot. That rims off. And that'll be it. Stevens Point wins here on the home court to start off another week. It is Stevens Point, 82. The Stout Blue Devils, 63. Let's take a two minute break, we'll come back. Pointers have won three straight conference games. This is UW Stevens Point Men's Basketball, WPCN.